Hey, what's up guys, Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. I explain these leak code and hacker rank solutions because people struggle understanding them. And uh, I feel like I'm okay at explaining, I guess. All right, score of parentheses. Given balance, parentheses, string, compute the score of the string based on the following rules. Okay, balance, parentheses, string. Do you guys know what those are? The, okay, so we're given a string. It's only parentheses, only opening and closing. Uh, balance parentheses means that closing ones aren't coming before opening and there's always an even number. Uh, so it's just balanced. Like it's just going to be either this, it's going to be like two next to each other or nested. It's not going to be all crazy with like three closings and then an opening. It's balanced. It, it's like valid, you know? Um, so we're going to do it based on these. We're just going to return an integer, a score based on these rules. Okay. Um, and these rules are the, just a regular pair has a score of one. Uh, a, B a, has a score of A plus B, where A and B are balanced strings. Okay, so this has a score of one. A, B is just two of them next to each other, and that's just the score of one plus another, so it's just one plus one. So that's two, right? Because each of these are worth one. One plus one, two. Okay, there you go. Uh, nested is two times the value inside. So this is worth one, so then it's two times one, which is two. Okay. Uh, in this case, it is one plus two times one, which is two. So one plus two is three times two on the outside, six. Now I, I go over that right here. If you want to pause that and look at the math, two times, and then I put whatever's inside of this outer thing, one plus two times one, which is, you know, two plus one is three times two, is six. Uh, so there's the math for that. Uh, I'm just going to code this out and then explain it. We just implement the rules. This is a really easy medium problem. So don't, you know, beat yourself up over it. Like, it's pretty straightforward. Don't overthink it. Basically, we're just going to use a stack. Boom, stack. Um, we're just going to have a thing called score. This is what we're going to return. Return score. And we're just going to loop through each character of the string. And there's two different characters we could potentially see. So if C is equal to open parenthesis, wherever that is, sorry, I'm not good at typing, um, then we'll do something. Otherwise, we'll also do something. So what do we do here? Well, we're going to push the score on, and I'll explain this, so don't cry yet. You know, don't be mad that I didn't explain it, because I will explain it. Uh, and then score is equal to zero. And then score is equal to uh, stack dot pop uh, plus um, math dot max of score times two and one. Okay, so this is just an implementation of the rules. This is the solution. It's very straightforward. Um, it implements the rules in a very simple way, and we can do some examples so that you understand. Um, basically what's going to happen is stack.pop, the last value on the stack is going to handle the, any value that we previously saw. So stack.pop is going to handle, like if we just saw one before, uh, we would push this one onto the stack and then we'll see, you know, a new pair. And then, you know, we'll say, okay, one plus another one. Every time we see a closing parenthesis, it's gonna make the value of our current brace, uh, the mat, okay, all right, let's just do an example, honestly, because like, I, it's really hard to explain without doing an example. Um, all right, dude, here we go. Here's our example, we'll just erase all this. Okay, here we go. So, let's look at this. We have a stack, right? Okay, score is zero. We go through s.2 char array, right? Uh, so we're looking through all the characters in this this string right here we're going through. This will be our stack. We see an opening brace. So we push the score is zero. We push the score on. It's always just when we go nested, we're just pushing zeros on because we're not seeing the closing yet. So they're not worth one yet. So we're just every time we see an opening, we're just pushing, you know, a new score. We're resetting the score because we're looking at a new pair of parentheses. So zero goes on to the stack. Okay, loops around again, sees another opening. Okay, score still zero. We put another zero on the stack. Stack.push zero. 
Okay, we see another opening. It goes around again. We push another zero on. Okay, we see our first closing. Once we see a closing, we can finally have a value. And it's going to be one, right? Because it's just a new value for each pair. So we get a new zero for each pair. So this pair, we're finally at here. We just saw this opening. We put as new zero. We have a new zero. And now what we're seeing is the closing for it. So it's going to be worth one. And it's going to be worth one because score is equal to stack.pop. This zero, pop it off, plus the max of the current score, which is zero, times two, which is zero, and one. So that just handles making it worth one. So we saw the closing, it's worth one. Okay, boom. We see no another opening now. Okay, uh, one is one is not on the stack yet, sorry. Okay, we, we saw that closing, score is one. Okay, now we see an opening. Okay, now one's on the stack. We push one on the stack, we make a new score. New score every time we see an opening. Okay, score is zero. Now we say, okay, score is equal to this handles the case where they're next to each other. Stack.pop. So one, we pop the one off. One plus the max of zero, the score, which is zero, because it was made new, times two, which is zero, and one. So this is a closing, so it's one plus one. Okay, one plus one is two. So now the score is two. Okay, the score is two when we see this closing one. Now we see another closing one. We never push two on the stack. So another closing one is equal to zero pops off the stack plus max of two times two, which is four. Okay, four, the score is four. Okay, now we go back around again and we see the final closing one and we pop the other zero off the stack. Zero plus four times two, which is eight. And then this will be equal to eight in the end. So basically what's happening is when you go nested, you see these a new opening brace. Every time you see a new opening brace, you push a zero on the stack because it's a new score for that pair. When you close the pair, it's going to be equal to one. The value is going to be one unless there is already... The score is going to be one for that pair unless it's already... has. We saw one that was right next to it, like in this case, because that means one will be on the stack. So we pop that off and add it, and then you know we add it to the previous one. Or if you're closing out of a nesting loop, it'll just, it'll never, if you have multiple closings and you're closing some nesting sh thing, like three closings in a row, it's not going to be pushing on the stack anymore. We're just going to take the current score and multiply it by two because that's what you do. You multiply by two. So it's just implementing these rules because like, you know, you, mul you take what's inside and you multiply by two when you close. That's basically what's happening here. And when you close, you make it one. The score is one. And when you have things next to each other, you just pop off the one right before and you add it to the current one. So it just implements all of those scores. Uh, you can do the math and like check this. Like, you know, it's just, you know, the outer parentheses are two times whatever's inside the outer parentheses, which is two times whatever's inside, whatever's inside those parentheses, which is one plus one. So two times one plus one is two times two, which is four times two, which is eight. There you go. That's the solution. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I think that it's pretty easy. Like it's really not even a hard problem. I think it's one of the easier ones in, uh, you know, on the website. So let me know if you have any questions, uh, easy or medium ones. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next video. Uh, like and subscribe so that I can grow my channel. All right, peace. Bye.